Hello guys, today I'm gonna to show you inside the drop data and search in link you to SK C sharp step by step. Start Visual Studio 2010, a new project Windows Windows 4 application, then click OK. Click on the start button, then start Visual Studio. Select click on the new project, select the project location. I just uh, select the location D drive. G drive uh, write your project name Windows form application write your project name then click OK the user interface is displaying just now and in the G drive you can see your project is already created uh, name my first F uh, just mix made now just design the user interface with four text box and four button and one grid view to design this interface go to the toolbox then just drag the control text box and uh, resize the text from the font expand the font it's already 8.25 just uh, put it 10 it's expanded and uh, 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 maximize it just copy and paste it we just we're gonna uh, take four text box after designing with text box we'll go we'll take the uh, level control from the toolbox just drag uh, as usual dragging and dropping rename the text from the label uh, rename the text, uh, text of the label from the uh, properties I just uh, write the name is ID the text of the label is ID and just copy and paste uh, the four, four label because of our four text box have the four, four name what we will insert in the text box ID name and address and is After designing, now we're gonna take a grid view, data grid view from the toolbox. As usual, just drag the data grid view and drop it in the user interface. Okay, guys, you can see how to how to design a user interface. Take four button from the toolbox. You can uh, color and uh, you can uh, design the button uh, with color, image, or etc. etc. I just uh, keep it plain because of uh, uh, my time is not so long. Within a short period of time, when I want to capture all the tutorial. Rename the button name. The four button have uh, insert, delete, update, and charts. The first one is insert button one. Uh, we have four text box. Text box one. The name of the text box is text box one, text box two, text box three, text box four. And the button is also uh, as, as like one two three. Now we're gonna uh, create a database and table uh, from from the Visual Studio. Just follow the steps. Go to the data in the above menu and create transact SQL editor new query connection. In the server name, just write dot SQL express and authentication must be Windows authentication, then connect. If you have SQL server uh, software, then you can authenticate uh, SQL server authentication. Now we just uh, prefer it in Windows, Windows authentication. Go to the uh, view and then server explorer just uh, in the data connection pane just right click and select the uh, create new SQL server database and put dot SQL express in the server name and database name is my fast DB now you see that your database is already created and there is no table now uh, now I'm gonna create a table uh, in the table, I will uh, add four column: ID, 
name address and age remember that in each table have to a primary key column primary key means there is no duplicate data entered in the primary key table in the uh, in this table i just make primary key is id column the table name is uh, i just write you can uh, you can mention any name of the of this table i just use my first db my first tab name of the table click on the okay the table is already created with four column there is no data yet uh, now for connecting with sql to my project just uh, we need to add a dbml file link queue file right click on the my first tab and click add new item then link to sql classes select the link to sql classes then click on the ok button it's added just drag the table from the server explorer and drop the table in the link queue the dbml file drag the table and drop it ok our connection is already ok now for connecting the project with cs file we just call the dbml file with name as uh, with adding the data context to connect with sql database just uh, click the uh, uh, link you file data class data context db you go to new data class uh, data class data db uh, data context now in the button click event just uh, write the code bar st equal to new our table name my first tab sorry my info tab and id id uh, where the ticket id id is the from the textbook one remember that our id column is in the uh, id columns data type is integer in the database so we convert it into it in integer dot first in dot first type one dot text and name is from type two address is from type three and uh, age is from type four our age is is the data type of the age column is float that's why we need to convert it in double remember that integer only number and double can uh, uh, support decimal after completing the declaring column just uh, write db dot your table name my info tabs dot insert on submit st st our string st all st st from st bracket first uh, bracket uh, start and ng all are insert in my first input tab if you submit change now after ng the message will display as message box dot show uh, message will display i just write the message successfully saved okay now just run the software debug debug in the above arrow sign just click on the above arrow sign or press f5 to debug the project id1 name version address usa is my age is just i just my age is 20 successfully added now now i'm going to show you uh, to load the data in data grid view at insert or update or whatever the operation are happening in the user interface all uh, are show in the data grid view instantly that's why i declare a method load data and in the method i i uh, load the all all data of my input run again I just call the method load data in the button one click event I mean after insert it will uh, it will instantly display the data in data grid and uh, and also I declare call the method in form one load event when the form load it will display you can see that uh, when the form load it is displayed in the data grid view 
and now I'm gonna create the second ID ID2 name Roby address USA is 25 just insert you can see after insert it automatically display in the data grid view now I'm gonna uh, work in the delay uh, a bit redesigned uh, I'm gonna work in the update button uh, of click event I just uh, here is I just copy paste to, to reducing the time bar is equal to promise in uh, first first packet promise in divide my input tab select as good first uh, in the middle of the my my first input tab we will mention from where from what row will update it where id equal to tag rows one dot dot text that means in the text box what id have the operation will happen in that id what id you are selecting the text box one now uh, from the text box one's id it's name will be changed after putting the text box two the what name you put in the text box two it will change i mean it will replaced and address as like address and is you also uh, you need to convert it to in the double and uh, double data type because of ages load data type in the sql server data table i just copy the message and paste below the button uh, event successfully updated rename the successfully updated okay now charts the click event of the charts button it's also as usual I just copied the update uh, from the update button and here is I will put I will load the data in the text box from the table just text box 2 dot text it will display the st dot name I mean what ID you select and cl click on the charts button that ID's name will display in the text box 2 to address with the text box 3 and as we will text box 4 I just uh, mention in what uh, what button event I mm, I have done the operation. The method is for load data in data grid view, and this is for update, and this is for charts. Just debug the software. We have already one and two ID. I am gonna create ID three and name address successfully saved. Initially display in the data grid view. If I uh, write two answers, then uh, then it displayed the two's IDs. And I just uh, I'm gonna update now the name, uh, the address was used in US Atlanta. It will be it's it's changed and it will display the uh, in the data grid view US Atlanta. If I change it to UK, it will uh, change UK whatever. Now I'm gonna change the age 26 to 29. It, it's uh, replaced with 29 okay guys now I'm gonna show you delete click on the delete button and go to the uh, click event as usual write that code I just copy paste to reducing the time mm, you can uh, follow in the delete button there is no many many job to perform just put the uh, db dot my info tab your table name and delete on submit this is the method delete on submit st you select the id in the text box one that id will be delete after clicking the delete button db dot successfully deleted replace the update to delete deleted now the four four id i uh, i am creating the new one four id 
name James address Canada is 29 first of all insert it's inserted okay charts okay now three searching if I didn't successfully delete deleted not displaying in now if if I call the method load data <laughs> what method I already created in the day to load the data in data grid view I just call the method and uh, just debug now you see triad is not available I am creating three ID again three name John address USA age 27 sorry 28 uh, insert now I am gonna delete it three that I am gonna delete it the three ID deleted now I am gonna delete the four four one the four is deleted if I uh, uh, delete three the three deleted two two will be deleted if you uh, if you think it is a, a bit faster and you cannot understand uh, see it, it's perfectly then you can see it's with fausch and play if you uh, face any types of problem you can uh, don't hesitate to contact uh, comment thanks to see this video if you think as helpful please subscribe if you already subscribe i'll get